Today I'm at the Aqua Northside Station with Mr. Mark Abshire. Could you spell your last name, please? A B S H I R E. Okay. So, Mark, uh, tell me what's going on here today. Uh, this is Steam in the Valley for 2014. What we have is the uh, Nymph Plate Road 765 steam engine. It's one of the few left that are still coal fired. Most of the uh, steam engines to date have uh, been converted to fuel oil. All right. And so, how did you get involved at this, Mark? Uh, I just found something on the website about volunteering. Looked like fun. I enjoyed riding, so I decided to uh, just volunteer. Polar Express. Ah, tell me a little about that. Uh, I it just it's based off the movie that you find in the Tom Hanks movie. Um, we do that basically from mid-November to mid-December. The uh, we read the the book the Polar Express to the kids on board. Yeah, where we travel north to the North Pole, we stop, let the kids and adults alike view the uh, lights and the characters out of the North Pole, then we return back to Akron. Born and raised. Uh, I'm up here a couple times a month. And how does one, if one would want to ride this train, how would they get uh, information on that? Uh, go to the Congo Valley Scenic Railroad's website, and all the information that one would need to about the train excursions and ticket prices are there. Thank you. Today I'm at the Cahaga Valley Line with... Chris Viola. Could you spell your last name? K-N-I-O-L-A. Could, could you tell me a little bit about this? How did you come to know about the steam train today? Oh, this is something that my grandmother lived on the western part of Ohio near Indiana. And we took, my mom and I took this train down to see my grandmother for two weeks every summer. So from little on up till I was about 10, I rode this exact, uh, this was the engine, the steam engine. And the cars that uh, they have today are the actual passenger cars that we would uh, we would ride on. We'd pull out of Cleveland, Ohio in the terminal that used to be under the Higby building and we had our little lunch and took that and then we pulled into Coldwater, Ohio and that was um, maybe 3, 4, 5 in the morning. Anyway, it was pitch dark and coming back we would board the same uh, train coming back to Cleveland at this little depot and uh, this train coming down the tracks it was pitch black they must no be light six feet and it was uh, the light coming down with the steam just um, all over the place and here the noise it was tremendous and when I was really little I used to hide in the depot because it scared me so much It's going that way. Yeah. 